Phantoms Anonymous. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fandoms Anonymous. I'm joined here by my man, J.R. Austin. What's going on, man? Another day in paradise. Oh, man, man. We're here to talk about something very, very special. Very, very special. Now, if you don't know, guys, I'm centrally located in Montgomery, Alabama, but I span all across the nation and across the world. I've got some international viewers on YouTube, so check that out as well. We're here today to talk about Gump City Con. Tell us about Gump City Con. When I first saw this, I said, oh my God, I don't have to get in the car and pay a lot of gas in my car and pack a lunch. And my wife put me on a crazy budget where I can't spend money. I can do it all right here in the city, down the street. Let's talk about Gump City Con. How excited are you for Gump City Con? I'm blown away. I'm, you know, we had, we've gotten more positive feedback and reception than I initially had expected, mm. you know, I, I said, we'll do this if we can get, you know, a couple hundred people to it, that'll be fine, it'll right, be a nice right. little gathering. 3,000 people later, exactly. it's this overwhelming response. So, it's going to be, not to sound partial, the most exciting thing that happens in geek culture in Montgomery, Alabama. Exactly. I can promise you that. August 12th, we'll be at the Alcazar Shrine Center at a 555 Eastern Boulevard. So, it's, it's up there where, like, drive time and stuff is. You see the big Sphinx, but you're at the right spot. So we have a lot of awesome things, you know, and we, we kind of had this, put, the, put it in motion about November of last year. People had asked me for years, you know, JR, you should do this, Jerry you should do this, because a lot of these local shop owners, a lot of the comics people know that, you know, I've been going to cons and I've been vending at cons for the past three or four years. And, you know, I, I thought forever, something like this is eventually going to come to Montgomery. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it never did. Exactly. So eventually, you know, I finally had saved up enough money to do it, and I finally pulled the trigger. I said, you know, we need this. Our community needs it's this. Definitely. we we got to have something like this. And it's going to be awesome that people aren't going to have to drive to Atlanta. They're not going to have to drive to Orlando exactly. and well, New Orleans and Washington, D.C. and wherever, you know, you have to go for comics related anything. Exactly. You're right here. Right here. Right here in the city. So... It's, it's kind of like your baby. I'm hearing you say, you know, you, you thought about it, you wanted to do it, and you say, you know what, pow, pull the trigger. Yep. How, how, where did the influence come from other than you traveling around cons and knowing that people in the area wanted something like this or were looking for something like this? Well, I would say I've always kind of passively had an interest in it. I've been going to cons since the year 2000. My first Comic Con was Anime Week in Atlanta in the year 2000. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was awesome. You know, as a first-time con attendee, I was overwhelmed. There were a lot of awesome artists and vendors and guests and cosplay. There were so many cool things. And I've been a geek forever. You know, growing exactly. up, that my big thing is anime. You know, so I like it all. You know, don't get me wrong. But just being in that culture, I've been around it. You know, and, and living in this area, I'm from Enterprise originally, Enterprise, Alabama. And I currently live in Troy. And I, I've thought for the years that I've lived here, I'm like, you know, we have a whole bunch of people around here. You know, when I look at Montgomery, it's the capital of our state. You know, we've got... If you consider our metropolitan area, you know there's half a million people here with exactly. Auburn and Troy and, you know, Selma and the River Region and all of that. We've got a lot of folks here. I'm like, we, we have the, the community to sustain a con, and we exactly. deserve one. These, these people here deserve something good. And I was like, let, let's, let me do some research. Let me reach out to some of my vendor friends, some of my artist friends, some of my uh, agent friends, and see what we can put together. And it's, it has been nothing but blessings all along the way. People have been exactly. overwhelmingly happy. Yes, JR, you tell me what to do, we'll be there. You tell me where you want us to go, we're coming. You know, They're excited about it. Other people I know that have been doing this forever are more excited to come here, I think, in some times than I am. <laughs> you know? So it's, it has been very good. I'm, I'm blessed to have the support that I have. You know, Mike Taylor over at GT South has done leaps and bounds to make this happen. I, I have been the megaphone. I've been the promoter getting the word out, telling people about it. You know, decorating stuff, getting the right people in place, you know, that's been my, my whole process in this thing. You know, Mike Taylor, he is the real MVP. He's, he built the website. If you think the website looks good, you can thank him. Because that man is awesome. Beautiful website. You know, he's done a lot of work. He's gathered a lot of people, a lot of motion behind GT South to get that crew together to, so that not only can we have day drinking at our con, which is super cool, but that we can provide food, that we can provide all of these gaming tournaments, and all of the free play and the Dungeons and Dragons and all the other things that we have, you know, he's actually put put quite a bit up to make that happen. Right, so, right. you know, 
And I will say, all I did was have a vision. Other people stood behind me and, and are helping it happen. So I'm, and, I'm blessed. And you, you have to have a vision. Even with what I do here at Founders of Honors, I, I have, there are so many people that are surrounding me. My wife, my man, Kevin Garlington, Jeremy Branch, a lot of different people. Whitney Moore, they surround me and they say, hey, go this route, go that route. Don't do that. Do this. You know, kind of like Borat. Don't do this. Don't do that. You know, so <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Now, I heard you say something about cons and guests. What type of guests are we looking for? We have a, a good variety of a lot of different people from a lot of different aspects of fandom. So we actually have a pretty diverse palette of people. Right, right. Um, we have a hometown hero. His name is John Anderson, who has done a bunch of things with uh, pop culture, most notably with Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Mm -hmm. We have a Walking Dead fanatic and role actor from that. I mean, he's done a bunch of stuff, too. Don Teams, he's pretty popular in the Atlanta con community, especially with the zombies and that exactly. whole culture. We have uh, Tiffany Grant. She's kind of a big deal. As an anime person, not saying I'm partial, I love anime. Right. And she, she's done a bunch of different voice acting in, the, in a bunch of different anime, but most notably Asuka from Neon Genesis Evangelion. And anybody that's from my era, the, the I would call it 25 years 35 years in that age range, you've seen Evangelion, you know Asuka. She's the wild, red-headed, you know, Evangelion exactly, pilot. So, exactly. so she's a lot of fun. Her, she's actually very different from her character. You know, her right. character is, like, obnoxious and bombastic and all that. She's actually just a very sweet person, and she really loves Hello Kitty. That's so if you want to make her happy, bring her some Hello Kitty stuff. She, she'll be really, really happy about that. Um, and I, I would say, I'll save the best for last, so I'll go through the other two. We have a... Randy Thornton, he's a professional wrestler and pro footballer. He's played for a bunch of different teams, and his his biggest thing was he was actually uh, Rey Mysterio Jr.'s tag team partner. So everyone remembers Rey Mysterio Jr., exactly, exactly. and they're like, oh, yeah, the guy that was with him? Yep, Randy Thornton, that was him. <laughs> and he's, he does, like, a bunch of stuff with horses now. He does a lot of philanthropy and charity through that. Like, he's a really good guy. I mean, he's intimidating now. Don't get me wrong. He's, like, he's like 6'9". Right. You know, he's a big man, but <laughs> go talk to him, meet him. He's, a, he's one you'll like. We have a very, very talented comic guest as well. His name is Brett Brooks. He's also from Atlanta. And now Brett has done all different kinds of everything. Most notably, uh, work on like Mars with the M and M's. You've probably seen the M and M drawing, like mm -hmm. the girl M and M and the one with the saxophone and stuff. Right. Brett did a lot of the work on that stuff. He's done a lot of work with Disney, and his art style is just fantastic. And he has a lot of his own personal publications. He does Dust Bunny, How to Catch a Spider. He makes a lot of games and a lot of art-centered themed things. So like he's he's a really good person. Does a lot of commissions. Has a good portfolio. You should check him out. You will be very, very surprised at the talent level that guy has. He's going to blow you away. Now, the the big headliner for us this year mm. that that everyone, the moment everyone has been waiting mm. for, is Walter Jones, Woo! the original Black Power Ranger from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, Walter Jones is probably the, the most fun person I've ever met. This guy, he, he he's happy, he's obnoxious, he'll do the, the Mighty Morphin thing with you, he, he has coins on him. He, he's the most excitable person I've ever met at a con. You know, I, I love Walter Jones. I really do. And and y'all will, too. He is awesome. So, and I think, you know, of anybody that we've talked to, yeah, we've, we've gotten feedback from people, you know, you know, I thought about it. We thought it looked cool. It looked cool. And then as soon as we announced Walter Jones, everyone blew lost it. Blew They're up. like, oh, yeah, we're sold on this. We're coming to Gump City Con. If Walter Jones is coming, we're coming, you know. He wants you to, to come, too. Y'all need to come. All right, Walter, <clears throat> I'm letting you know, man. It, you got to complete it for me. I met you in 15, but this didn't exist in 2015. I need your signature to complete the Black Ranger pop. That, that's all I have to say about that, Walter. Okay. So, I'm excited. Families and honors, we will be there. We will be amongst the crowds. We will be doing videos. We will be doing interviews. We will be doing questions with you, the guests there. We're going to make a big grand entrance and make a big video. We want to get you all involved if you're not following what Gump City Con, where can they find Gump City Con? You can find, I think actually at this point, all of our information on our website, which is www.gumpcitycon.com, G-U-M-P-C-I-T-Y-C-O-N.com, gumpcitycon.com. We also have a Facebook page that has quite a bit of uh, traffic and information. We post stuff on there pretty regularly too, and that's facebook.com slash gumpcitycomiccon. And we, we actually used to be Comic-Con, but we just dropped the comic to include all things geek. 
so that people wouldn't be confused. Exactly. We, we do comics, but we do everything too. So that's you can follow us on Facebook, and we have a Twitter, Gump City CC. You can hit us up, tweet us at Gump City CC. We'll reply to you. Pretty pretty speedy on that. And anything you need to know, shoot us a message. You know, we got it all. Tickets. All of our tickets are through Eventbrite. You can buy the tickets directly on our website. There is a big, huge button that says buy Peak tickets button. on the very <laughs> front page. Buy tickets. <laughs> so you can't get lost looking for tickets. They're pretty easy to find. The tickets for our show this year are actually the wristbands. Oh, yeah, babe. So you don't want to wait in the line? We don't want to wait. We don't want you waiting in the line either. All you do is hold your arm up. We'll wand you down. And you're good. And it's that simple. 20 bucks, wristband, one and done. Come, on, Come on, have a good time. We've got all kinds of stuff. We've got some great guests. We've got a bunch of uh, Super Smash Brothers tournaments, amongst Ooh. other tournaments. We've got a lot of free play outside. We've got day drinking. We've got concessions. We've got vendors and artists representing merchandise and art from every fandom. So you, you'll be able to find something, a whole bunch of something. And if you have pops, you're getting my money. I'm just going to put it out there like that. If you have pops, you're getting my money. You see my pop collection. I'm looking to expand. Do not tell my wife. Anyways, <laughs> it's going to be amazing. It's definitely going to be amazing. I just want to shout out some people real quick. Shout out to my man, Mike Taylor, GT South. If you have never been in GT South, man, that bar is amazing. I remember when GT South was just a video game store that sold vintage video games. And this guy, he always said, man, I'm going to turn this into a bar. You know, I'm going to get my liquor license. And I was like, I don't know if people do that. And I was like, that's before I ever heard of David Busters. Yeah. And years later, this place is amazing if you want some place where you can go and enjoy your fandom enjoy your gaming whatever it is get some good food get some good drinks the drinks are even named and the food are even named after superheroes and stuff from they're from all geek themed. themed you know like geek themed. like my favorite sandwich the boba fett name of the boat i mean what the, where does it get better i think they had to drink the green land i think it's one of your favorites it is that's one of your favorites ironically the boba fett is my favorite Burger too. What's better than a, a burger? A burger stuffed with, cheese. with feta cheese and yeah. bacon. I mean, it does not like get better than that. But guys, Gump City Con is going to be amazing. It's going to be so much fun. I'm definitely excited for Gump City Con. Check out this poster action. This beautiful poster. If you haven't seen it, they got these hanging up. They're going to be all over Montgomery. Check them out. Again, we're in Montgomery, Alabama, for you guys who didn't know. But guys, if you don't know who we are, we're Fandoms Anonymous. That's F-A-N-D-O-M-S, A-N-O-N-Y-M-O-U-S. We all love social media. Right here on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the little notification bell for future videos. Also, head over there to Facebook and join the Facebook group where we have discussions each and every single day. And hit the like on the Facebook fan page. Also, head over to Instagram where we're at Fandoms underscore Anonymous 17. And we got some stuff, something coming up this week for the people between Families Anonymous and Gump City Con. So be on the lookout on the Gump City Con page. It might be something there. We're, we're, we're charitable folks. We give a lot of stuff away. Yeah. Our, our mascot is a is a bald eagle. We're, we're a patriotic theme. America. Con. America. America. <laughs> and, and, and Regal the Eagle is a very, very generous bird. He Most gives definitely. tickets away all the time. He gives pots away. He gives Pikachus away. Wall art. We, we, we do all kinds of giveaways. We, you know, we have a big charity aspect to our con, too. Exactly. So we will be giving a lot back to the American Cancer Society. Mm -hmm. We will be doing a silent auction to collect things. So if you guys want to bring something for us to give to them, we'll, we'll take anything. Exactly. It, it all works. Um, a final note for all you in interested in the con but not sure what to wear. I've thought about cosplaying, but I'm not sure what to wear. Or I don't have you know, enough money, or I don't think this looks good. Come, come as you are. Wear whatever you want. We're, we're going to be happy with whatever you have. Exactly. We have five amazing cosplay guests. All they do all day, every day, is make cosplay stuff and help people with cosplay stuff. So... Whatever you have, come. Ask them for help. Ask them for advice. They will give you all kinds of tips. One guy does stuff explicit, explicitly with foam, and it's amazing. And these people will teach you anything you want to know about cosplay. And a cosplay contest? Yes, we have one. It's at 4 p.m. on August 12th. So whatever you want to cosplay, bring it on. We, we want to see it all. Get a, we have 14 prizes in our cosplay contest, too. So there's something for everyone. So, yeah, just wanted to make that shout-out for them. Not sure what to wear? Wear anything. And because we're patriotic theme con, wear red, white, and blue stuff. That works too. Anything. Just make sure you wear clothes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something is better than nothing. <laughs> but guys, most definitely, Gump City Con is coming. Don't forget to go to all the links that JR mentioned. Hey, don't forget to go to all the links for Fandoms Anonymous. But guys, as I always say, if there is anything else, thanks for watching and have a good one.